Greetings, Taurus, and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. I hope you're all doing well, and let's dive right in and see what it is that you need to know today. And this is for uh, September uh, 1st through the 15th. And let's see what the uh, September is uh, opening up for you. Um, I can feel that there is a change in the air. You're having a hard time uh, closing out an old cycle or ending a situation, but you're doing that because you're finally getting a clarity, a Taurus, on, from your mind, from what you really know you need to do at this time. And it's coming because uh, there is this a feeling, you could maybe be, just be feeling it a uh, bubbling up in your heart, Taurus, but something new, uh, a new beginning, a new beginning of a life in your heart uh, after a time where maybe you felt uh, that you needed to be shut down, you needed to go inward, or you needed to be cut off from uh, people you cared about and people you loved, but now it's coming back with this amazing energy of uh, releasing and going toward uh, this destiny of a legacy, of wealth. But more than just financial wealth, it's this uh, spiritual wealth, the spiritual uh, abundance and prosperity that's coming because you're aligning Taurus with that flow uh, through your chakras. You might be feeling very uh, en enlivened at this time. A lot of uh, energy of this um, sexual energy coming through you because you're cleansing and uh, the spirits want you to know that sexual energy is uh, because you are uh, letting go of an old structure and so your body itself is changing uh, you know our bodies are a structure or our home or our the building that we live within in this temporal form and sometimes we uh, treat our bodies or put our bodies uh, on um, sandy soil. We don't really build on a firm a rock foundation of granite. And you're going to let this go, but you're finding your Sora Mystica. That's an alchemy, uh, the sacred sister, this partnership in a sacred art, a craft you're working on. You might be an alchemist using the tarot cards or using divination. But you see that lightning bolt that is from, like in a Greek mythology, that's Zeus's uh, uh, <clears throat> lightning bolt coming down to awaken you. And it's also connected to fertility. It's seeding the earth. And uh, something is going to be uh, brought up out of the structure. Um, a new structure and is coming in with clarity, a whole new way of working. Uh, this craft, uh, Taurus, is coming in and it's involving, uh, like I said, an alchemist, the sacred Asura Mystica. That's the, uh, the partnership when we work on a sacred art. Um, whether you're working with a therapist and that's that um, a transference going on. Uh, in the alchemical process, we need another person uh, to mirror back uh, whatever it is uh, that we're working on in secret within our own soul, within our own minds. And we're doing this behind uh, closed doors, behind the curtain, in secret, under the moonlight. And uh, that is what I have for you, um, Taurus, in the pre-shuffle. And uh, the high priestess is here again, a Pisces energy uh, that is coming. And it's uh, very deep and connected to your dreams at this time. Uh, you could be connecting to a Pisces energy. And uh, this is what I have. Wow, and excuse me, one card came flying out. So. Uh, the emperor, well, the emperor is coming with this Aries energy. Uh, this is the divine masculine energy. And Taurus, that might be you or coming towards you. Um, this Aries energy, this fiery confidence, but the confidence is built on uh, true living, having uh, gone through the battles of life. And the emperor represents the uh, four kings, whether you're a man or or a woman, uh, we can tap in. We all have the divine masculine, and we saw the high priestess, which is the divine feminine energy um, in terms of the spiritual realm, and then we have the empress, is the divine consort to the emperor. And it's coming because um, 
you are uh, seeing that you can use all of those uh, skills you have, Taurus. You have the mind, the intellect, the way to look through things with logic, almost with a scientific or medical uh, eye toward uh, the truth, uh, toward what's right for you. And you also have this deep emotion to know with emotional intelligence, is this person uh, trustworthy? Is this person going to be someone who I can uh, it, be in an, a sympathetic relationship, have empathy for, work together with? And also you have the practical matter of the earth, of the pentacles. That's you, a Taurus. And uh, you are also bringing that down, bringing your leadership, your power, your structure, your abilities down to earth at this time. And you're using your intuition of fire as well. And you're definitely also connecting to the high priestess at the foundation of the reading. Uh, it's about taking leadership of your intuition, of your psychic abilities. Um, and it's coming because you're letting go of the devil of some, you're using that uh, energy. You see the devil here, uh, the figures are the hermaphrodite. That's the masculine and feminine uh, woven together, but not integrated. And so you're still uh, maybe having these uh, uh, projections that are toxic, that are unhealthy, uh, that are seducing you into uh, a realm maybe of power, um, of, um, <clears throat> let's see, of, of the um, world of the material 3D. And that is where the emperor has power, but they also have an alignment with the ego, which is the spirit bird, the spirit realm. And uh, the devil now is in reverse, so you're moving and you're working through this Taurus of letting go of any entrapment, um, any addiction, any belief system that is keeping you from uh, your authority of claiming the power of your true destiny. And the role you're here, your spiritual role. Uh, and what is challenging this is the Ten of Swords. Well, this is a challenging image. But uh, you see that uh, around this figure are, are elements such as the book, such as uh, this in energy of, you, of your mind. You've thought through. You've worked on mentally. Um, getting through this process of your thoughts, of what you believe, what you uh, have thought about yourself, what you have thought about reality, about your world. And you're taking a leadership over this now. This is coming to an end so you can boss up. This is coming to an end so you can claim uh, your own true reality and to be the uh, creator of your destiny now. And so let this go, whatever uh, the mental th thoughts you've had that have kept you going over and over, uh, this um, thinking about this emperor, you're letting it go now. It could be you're letting something go about a father figure, and you're just releasing it, um, or an authority, uh, or something about your old belief systems or having to come to rock bottom. And we did see the devil which is uh, an addiction, a bad belief system can bring us to rock bottom. But you're moving um, away from that. You already are on your way toward the sun, toward what is optimistic, uh, toward a positive destiny where you can use your willpower and your solar plexus to um, take that momentum, to know how to deal with the tensions of life and without having to mentally come to this uh, feeling of rock bottom, of agony, depression, despair, and then you're moving on from that. You're letting that go so you can uh, boss up. And it's coming because the nine of um, cups in your recent past, you have felt this sense of um, having climbed up this energy and underneath the earth or stack there with you is this a wish coming true. And you're looking toward the emperor um, for that happiness, 
to boss up, to take command, to be the leader and to uh, whatever this happiness, this fulfillment, this pleasure, this sense of, um, wow, I've got all of the fruits of my labors here to enjoy. And you're maybe moving to a whole new uh, destiny, uh, out with the old and in with the new, because you're using both your shadow and light sides. And not to be afraid, Taurus, of uh, facing this, looking at this, speaking about this. Uh, other people, um, when we share the agonies we've gone through, I know when I have, uh, as a therapist even, to share some of my own trials and tribulations with my clients, it has helped them to make take action um, toward looking at their shadow and to be able to uh, have this momentum, a uh, transportation movement, uh, to uh, move toward a wish, toward something positive, something you know will bring you satisfaction. And you're doing that because Taurus, you're seeing at the crown of uh, this um, a knight of swords was well, something is coming in quickly. It could be uh, even a harsh communication of someone who's almost a zealot toward the truth. And you're downloading that now because you need to see this clearly um, and to know about it. Use your, uh, your noggin. Use your intelligence. Uh, there is a lot of, of sense of having used maybe your mind in the, uh, as to challenge your authority, to challenge your um, assertiveness, to challenge your power. And uh, now you're seeing um, you can uh, take this action toward whatever you know is right for you. And it's coming because of a wake-up call. You're waking up from the dead. Looks, you see how they're arising up almost like levitation uh, to the sound of this a trumpet, uh, this announcement. Um, Gabriel, is the angel, is saying, um, wake up from the dead. Uh, come to this new life. Uh, wake up from, this, from the dead. And to move forward. Uh, toward a new life that's going to be more spiritually illuminated. And you see how this skull, out of this death of the old life, something is growing. And it's going to be very, um, you see the eye of God, so to speak, the eye of your source is looking over this and helping you to um, come up out of this um, old way of being and to really make a judgment maybe about yourself, about what you've thought, about how you've communicated and to um, move away from that, move on. And you can because you've got the power, the emperor to do that. And you see um, what's at the um, way you're actually seeing the emperor is the world. Well, you know that when you close this old cycle out, um, that you've gone through, and you've gone through it successfully, and you've been healed uh, by this journey you've been on. The fool in the tarot starts off with the zero and moves through the um, major arcana uh, to 21, and then it begins again. And so you're ending, um, Taurus, uh, this cycle. This is a card of ending. You're ending some mental a conflict uh, that at the crown you're knowing you were right, the way it was communicated needed to be said. Uh, something needed to be uh, spoken because uh, in the recent past you had this wish come true. You, you wished upon a star and this happiness was there. You felt it. Uh -huh. Even if it might have been uh, felt like uh, that it came in a way that was a difficult uh, communication, but some message is coming about a, a, an awakening uh, to this ending and to this new beginning. And you celebrate from all dimensions uh, of your experience. Uh, you're celebrating and reaping the rewards. You will be triumphant because you do have the chariot and the emperor and the world and judgment. And what is coming from your environment, Taurus? How are you being influenced by the environment? 
the king of cups well you're sensing uh, some love coming to you from your environment the king of cups is able you like this is like the um great sperm whale uh, that is a mammal that can swim down to the depths of the very bottom of the ocean and bring this uh, cup up of love of understanding of emotional intelligence you've been um connecting to someone in your environment or the environment itself is very balanced emotionally, uh, very intelligent in terms of how to uh, close out this old cycle, how to understand it, how to move forward to a new beginning because you've got the, uh, you're going from the 1010, which is a 20, uh, to the world, so this is um, the progression. Now something is coming in, Taurus, it's very significant. And it's going to allow you to take command and leadership and power uh, over your own life and to be a co-creator with your source now. And you've got that emotional intelligence around you with people you're dealing with. And you've got also the Eight of Cups. <clears throat> well, you see, perhaps you've been working on a craft or working with others and now you're saying um, with these vessels, you have um, put a lot of love into that. And the environment has been loving with you. Uh, but somehow you're feeling like you need to move on. Something's closing out. You're waking up. Uh, you're waking up to a judgment call about a situation um, that has been challenging you mentally that has led you to feeling like you've come to the end mentally of a situation um, and now you want to take command and move forward triumphantly toward your happiness, toward your deepest fulfillment. But you're going to need to, um, you know, get more information, talk about this, communicate with someone. And when you do, you're going to have a wake-up call. This is a card of a zealot, somebody who comes in uh, in the Rider weight. It's like um, the Knight of Swords is jumping from one end of the card to the other. It's just swift. Um, and something is coming to an end because it needs to, it wants to, it's fulfillment. You're getting recognized, you're celebrating. And you're celebrating with others in a lot of deep feelings and emotional intelligence, intuition, and using that deeper wisdom about what you know in your heart. And what you're knowing now is it's time to move on. Something uh, in terms of the work you're doing, what you, the vessels are what we contain our feelings in. And you've made a lot, look at these uh, beautiful vessels, containers. But uh, it's time maybe to uh, move on towards your true uh, purpose. Maybe you thought your purpose was in um, pottery and making the vessels, but now it's maybe you're moving on to fill up your vessels with uh, this ever-flowing water that is coming from the very depths and from someone else as well. And the advice is Taurus is... Um, the Five of Cups will to look at whatever has spilled and recognize you're moving on from that uh, because of this quick communication that's coming in. And you're waking up and closing out a cycle of loss, of, of regret, of sadness, of depression. And you're realizing, well, there are two cups, there are two possibilities still standing. And you see them at the top here. And whatever you've built um, as your hope and fear, you're going to take these two vessels and move on. Move toward what is really going to fulfill you. And uh, so, wow, Taurus, let's get some clarity here. And why is it that the emperor is here? Wow, as you dive right into this reading, and this came jumping out as a clarifier of uh, the emperor, well, you have, uh, this is the Hierophant. 
Well, the Hierophant is a kind of leader as well. Uh, it takes the leadership over the spiritual dimension and brings it down into tradition that's communicated in a way uh, that is um, able to be received by the, the masses, so to speak, and is bringing some kind of comfort, some kind of understanding. And there could be, uh, you're making a contract because with the um, emperor, you're the boss, you're the leader. And with um, the Hierophant, and this is a Taurus energy, that you are um, now seeing that you're able to really bring down this uh, energy uh, from your higher mind and from the uh, spiritual domain within your soul, so to speak, and to uh, communicate that with others as a teacher, as a spiritual leader. Um, and that is what you're coming into, Taurus. And it has come because there has been a lot of uh, a mental anguish and defeat and betrayal that has led you to maybe have these spiritual awakening, uh, these downloads. And it's coming because you are, um, why is the Ten of Swords here? The Queen of Wands. This is a fiery Sagittarius, Aries, Leo energy. Well, the Queen of Wands is saying have confidence now. You, you're attractive. You're beautiful. You're inspiring. You're, you're using your intuition. You're very psychic. And you're going to be using that psychic energy. That's the uh, feminine, receptive, uh, creative. You might not even know how yet to do this uh, inner work of being the leader, a, a spiritual leader, to make um, a contract, to be initiated. Uh, initiated through a baptism by fire into this psychic ability to just know, to get these uh, wild downloads uh, that are coming because of these um, thoughts you have. And be careful to not let them take you out of control mentally, but to use your confidence, use your intuition now more. And that will help you to uh, come to this new uh, spiritual commitment, maybe with another person. That a marriage or some deep initiation you're going through, and you're going through it with this Cancer energy of the chariot. And it's coming because of um, the King of Swords. Well, you're moving toward uh, this new destiny. You might be actually moving to a new job, a new home, a traveling. But you're going to be doing this movement. It's going to be taking uh, you forward because you're using your mind, your intelligence. You're getting the facts. Uh, and because of that, you're able to um, understand those uh, shadow sides of yourself and of your mind and how you think and those um, confident a realistic, uh, rational, logical energy. And that's going to help you move your chariot forward with truth and with confidence and with transformation. And you're going to go toward the um, nine of cups in the recent um, past. Your wish fulfillment came in because uh, you uh, are getting a new opportunity uh, to grow uh, your wealth. And that's bringing in this happiness, but it could also be just a new opportunity uh, to find happiness. Uh, you maybe have this seed, this coin, and you know that it's going to bring you, if you work it and plant it and develop it, it's going to bring you a lot of wealth. And you're getting this knight of swords, um, some quick communication that could be difficult to hear uh, from your higher powers because you've got the... Uh, Knight of Coins, well, that's a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn energy. And you got this as well. So you're taking that coin, that opportunity uh, that you wished on that brought you some happiness. And this uh, coin, you're going to uh, work slow and steady. And you've got two knights. You've got the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. So whatever ideas you have that you're going after for the truth, you're going to grow that and be loyal to it and work hard and um, be able to be patient and take the time. 
It could be um, slow and steady. And that's coming because you're waking up to another king, the king of a wand. So you have the king and the queen of wands. And when I see uh, this um, divine pair, this consort of fire, there is something moving you forward with a lot of passion. You've got this energy, uh, uh, this sexual energy. But when I mean sexual, you just feel this vitality, uh, this health, this optimism. Just feel good and passionate uh, toward a uh, coming together and joining these forces of um, attraction, of intuition, of entrepreneurial ideas of what you're working on. Maybe you're going to be working on something together uh, with uh, the sense of um, the king of wands. And that's what your, uh, the judgment call is. You're waking up and making a judgment call about this uh, passion you have about what you want to take leadership on now toward this new life. And um, you're going to be, uh, have a vision. You're having a vision about what your new life is going to be because you know you're closing out an old cycle. An old commitment is coming to an end so you can boss up and make, uh, be the, um, you know, boss, the leader of your own destiny. And this is coming, the world now is, the fool. Well, this is powerful, a Taurus, because uh, you've got the fool is coming after the world, and this is uh, how it comes in the um, layout. You come to con this conclusion. You dance through this Ouroboros and alchemy. Uh, that is completion. That's the inner marriage of the masculine and feminine uh, within us, that sacred marriage. And once we have that joining, uh, within ourselves, we're ready to start the journey over again with a whole new beginner's mind because we know something deep about um, our truth. Um, and we're going for it with taking a, re, uh, a leap of faith uh, toward this ending and a new beginning. This coming and it's, your environment is bringing you a lot of emotional intelligence and a uh, love and sensitivity and uh, deep listening. Uh, qualities and with uh, strength well, you got this uh, Leo energy of the um, lion and it's la force with because with emotional intelligence your environment someone you're dealing with is learning uh, to uh, ha a deal with their passion with their force with their instincts with intelligence with emotional intelligence and have all the strength and courage to uh, reveal those emotions, to share their intuition with you. And you're leaving something, um, your hope and fear is you're going to have to walk away from a situation uh, that is dried up, where the juice is gone. You've had a change of heart, perhaps. Um, and you're going to see what it is that you're moving up toward. Why are you moving? Because. You want to make magic. <laughs> You're going from uh, the fool to the one. Your own, um, a new journey, a new trajectory. The fool goes to the um, magician to learn uh, to how to use that innocence, how to use that uh, a new beginner's mind to make something, to bring something down. And it's going to help you whatever magic, whatever craft you're working on, uh, look at all these objects. You have all of the uh, four domains of fire, of water, of earth and air within yourself uh, to make this magic, to take this leap and know and trust that you're going to move out into magic to bring something down, to create this personal power. And you're going to have this power because of uh, being uh, the magician. And this is a Gemini Virgo energy. And with the Fool, oh, we have this a sense of um, just a totally new beginning, Aquarius energy, Uranus, which is Aquarius's um, modern ruler. And you're moving into this powerful energy. I mean, Taurus, I, I don't even know where to start to summarize, but what I see is you're completing an old cycle 
um, and you're getting that help and that support and that strength and bravery within your environment and deep love and deep sense sympathy towards your uh, energy that you're doing, that you're working on. You have a lot of love for this, a lot of understanding, uh, a lot of emotional intelligence. And because you know now it's time to move on uh, from uh, whatever it is you've been working on. And it had a lot of feeling for you, but it's re you're ready uh, to take this leap, to start something over, to trust, to maybe even uh, not be afraid to uh, look like a fool. Uh, as you go toward leaving behind uh, anything that has caused you grief, and you're going to take those uh, two cups that are standing still, those two vessels, and begin to work on them and bring them down and to hone your skills because you're tapping in both to that skill that is coming from those downloads and your intuition and your dreams, uh, but also you're making magic by a using your elements, using your gifts and talents. And that's what I have, Taurus, amazing a reading with so many um, deep transformative uh, energies around you at this time of September and coming into the first uh, two weeks of September. And this is what the uh, angel message to summarize this very uh, profound and informative reading. Romance, wow, well, uh, this could all be um, moving toward this leap of faith, toward creating uh, something magic uh, through romance with another person and to uh, move away from any grief, any loss, and pick up those cups. There are two cups standing, and you're going to make magic uh, together. And it's coming because uh, you're going to listen to your intuition, and this is uh, the card of the high priestess. So at this time, you're very honed and very attuned uh, to this um, higher feminine, divine feminine. And you've got this uh, emperor energy as well of leadership, of taking command of the of 3D. And you're going to listen to your intuition at this time, a Taurus. It's very important to see what your dreams are telling you about romance about this magic that you can make with your personal power as you take this leap of faith um, a toward finding your strength and the strength comes from those loving feelings those uh, mature emotions around you helping you to close out an old cycle with a lot of uh, entrepreneurial energy and vision and you're making a change, you're seeing something deeply about what is going to be a new life ahead. And uh, that is what I have as you go quickly toward uh, this uh, leadership position and also know that in the past you had this opportunity that you're growing your happiness and your film fulfillment. And it might be coming in both at certain times very quick with a lot of uh, verbal communication uh, harsh words maybe or even difficult a passionate zealotry but also slow and steady and grounded and that is going to bring you this uh, fulfillment of a romance and magic that you're making as you become uh, this fool and so it is Taurus a beautiful reading and so happy to be here together with you and spending this time um, understanding it and exploring what it is uh, that we're waking up to and a, a whole new life a whole new world a whole new beginning and you are going to have all the power you need um, spiritually and um, in the 3d to make this happen uh, and to move, go toward your true happiness a wish is coming true and you might not know how that's coming in but you're going to find out because you're going to listen to your intuition and you could be finding this information in your dream and that's what I have and thank you again uh, Taurus for all your comments and I'm there with you um, as you share where you are and your journeys and what's going on for you and to also my fellow uh, tarot readers um, I love watching tarot uh, readers as well I have some 
uh, tarot readers I'm very attuned to and that help me a lot. And I hope if other readers are watching me that you can share in your comments uh, how you might be picking up on this reading in a different way. I'd love to hear how. And thank you so much. Uh, we're all in this interconnected field together, uh, growing and learning to deepen our insights, uh, to make these wake up calls so we can move into our, uh, this true a new world ahead. And that's what I have in sending you love. Bye-bye, Taurus.